everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at a Mangear Potenza. This is a brand new, uh, newly customized system from Mangear. And the main reason we're looking at it today is the uh, graphics card you're about to see right up in the front. As you can see, we pop off the top very easily. Front also comes off extremely easily. Uh, up here you have a light that just shows the uh, Mangear logo there. And what we're seeing inside is an EVEJ, the EVAA produced GeForce GTX 660 Ti from NVIDIA. Uh, this is a brand new graphics card. It's made for performance as well as uh, an excellent price point. So that's the first thing you're going to see here. Also you'll see up here on the front is a uh, disk drive. This pops out the front through that real slit there and uh, is really easy to access. So I'll pop this back up on the front here. Easy as pie. Take a look at the top. All right, we're going to do here uh, right on the top is to show you we have our uh, power coming right through here uh, it goes around the side and up the front of this uh, riser here this riser sits on top so you're able to access these things the most uh, easily as they pop through the top of the grill um, the grill is plastic and pops off the top really easily as you saw earlier and you're able to get to these two USB 3.0 uh, microphone and uh, headphone jack right there this is for power, this is for reset and there's a couple of uh, lights that will tell you what's going on with the system. Uh, now we got that powered on. You can go ahead and power it on like that just so you can hear it. Now the system is relatively uh, silent. Uh, most of the, I mean the heat comes out the top so the system is set up and down or then side to side. The heat comes out the top. There's an the air intake on the bottom just so that it pops it straight out through the top and it keeps it extremely silent. Uh, I've got two more USB 2.0s right here. Uh, a couple more here you can use for USB, uh, USB BIOS flashback. That's why it's in green. These are out with the check marks, so you know that you can use a special. Here you can use for CMOS uh, reset USB. Again, there microphone line in and line out. Uh, several different places you can run out uh, several different sound monitors and such. Uh, four more USB 2.0 ports, and these two right here are for your uh, wireless internet. Now you have wireless internet inside the device itself. But because there's all sorts of metal all over the place, you're going to want to use these to extend the signal so you're able to get it a lot easier. And it works nice. So you can also use Ethernet right there if you don't want to use that sort of wireless. Last thing we're going to do here is once again show you that you can pop this off, pop it back on really easily. You can also set down your system right out from here. Uh, and then you can start popping things off easily from the front and back as well. We're going to pop off the top again, pop the back off. That pops off really easily, but also stays in place uh, if you need it to. Uh, the side also pops off. And you should be popping the front off first. That's why I took a second here to do that. Uh, here you can get to your power supply. You can take all this apart if you want. Switch out your drives. Uh, switch out components from the back here. It's really easy to access. Uh, the system's not made to be messed with too much because you're going to get it, you know, you got it custom made in the first place. But if you do want to switch it out, uh, there's relatively easy access, and they also give you the tools to do it yourself if you want to do that. So, check it out.